Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm going to show you how to change um, the Ford logo on your screen for the ST logo uh, and do the global windows also. And this one is um, using Ford scan. Well, let me show you first. Don't have anything set up yet. I'm gonna do the try to roll down the windows press twice and hold and it's not doing anything just so you guys know I don't have anything set up yet also we're gonna change that for the ST logo. Let me roll the windows down first. It's pretty hot today. Okay, things you're gonna do, you're gonna need, it's gonna be an ELM uh, OBD2 and get this one from Amazon just make sure if you get one make sure uh, that has the HS and MS uh, switch so let's plug this one in one it's plugged you gotta push the start just once and then let's open the four scan app. You're gonna get this message. Just press OK. We're gonna go right here to connect to vehicle. Now it says we need to switch to HS and it's already on HS then press OK um, just gonna press no for now my it's uh, 2018 three press ok just let it do its thing So this you can only do it on the one with the SYNC 3 to change the logo. Um, it says please switch uh, to MS. So it's on HS. Switch it to MS. Press OK. So it says, uh, would you like to set the profile for this one? I'm gonna say no right now. Because I already have that one. So no. Now it's ready. So we're gonna go to this one right here. Configuration and programming. Click on it. And the one we're gonna use is this one. Um, APIM spill format once you highlight that one 
I'm gonna go here and press play. And it says please switch to HS. So I'm gonna switch back to HS. Now press OK. Uh, now you got a warning message. Uh, just make sure you read that. Then press OK. Okay, now that we are on this page, um, the first thing I would recommend is to, because this one is the original, the stock, so to save it. To do that, you gotta go to save all. In case you know, like, you do a mistake or something, you can go back to the, the stock format and just press save all and just. Uh, Choose the folder you want to save it and press OK. And I'm going to save it because I already have that one right here. Now this one says APEIM module original. So if I do a mistake, I can go back to the stock. So once you hear we're only going to do one thing um, I'm going to leave the link for this um, you can see we are on the IPIM uh, number 52 that is the ST for performance I mean you can change that to the RS or GT 350 Lincoln Raptor. Well, today we're just gonna do DST. So we're gonna look the 7D0201. So this one right here, 7. D zero zero two zero one. So the only thing we're gonna change is this one right here, the B. And the second one, instead of a one, we're gonna put capital B. And this one just just leave everything as it is. And then you're gonna do write all. You're gonna get a warning message again. Just press yes. Press yes again. Okay, it says please cycle the ignition off and then back on. Off. As you can see, ST is right there. Okay, then back on. Press OK. Then press stop. Gonna disconnect for now so you can see that it's gonna stay there. Disconnect. So I'm gonna turn it off. Open my door. There you go. Now turn it back on. And it's still there. So we're gonna connect again. Got that warning message again. Oh, make sure it's on the HS. It's already there. Then press OK. Uh, you get that? No. Okay, again, mine's a 2018. Sing 3. Now we're gonna 
to the global windows. So it says, please, uh, we gotta switch to MS. So switch it to MS. Press OK. Save it right now. Now it's ready. We're gonna go again to this one uh, configuration and programming. Um, and the one we're gonna be working with is this one BDYCN, the one that it says uh, main. So highlight that one. And press play okay now it says switch to HS switch it and press okay now you're gonna get a warning message Make sure you read that one and press OK. Car is gonna go crazy for a little bit. Don't worry about that, it'll be fine. So, another thing whenever you select that one, the main, you press play. If you get an error just like this one, um, the about the calibration file, uh, what you need to do is just please turn ignition off. Turn, turn off. Press OK. Now you get all these options right here. I was saying if you get that error message I found this link um, on the Forescan uh, forum so this one right here the second one it's gonna take you to this um, and then you can just type the name of the file you're looking for just press download file and go to your destination and now you gonna be able to see all these options um, now we're gonna go to the one I don't wanna mess with all that stuff so it's just the uh, windows so we're gonna go right here. This one. Global open close. Global open close. As you can see, it's disabled. So we're just gonna press double click. You're gonna go to this one. Global open close doors. If you do this one, the only thing it's gonna do is like roll the windows down. But you're not going to be able to roll the windows up so we're going to do this one press the check mark and just do the right that's right i'm going to show you the old value and the new value press the check mark again it says please turn the ignition on 
it to not start the engine. Turn it on. Press OK. It's gonna go crazy again. Get another warning message. Press OK. Okay, so please cycle the ignition off and then back on. So, off. And then back on. Press OK. Now choose stop the service. We're going to go this one and disconnect I'm gonna leave all these links in the description so now we can go and check turn it off If I want to roll the windows up, press the lock twice and hold. And to roll the windows down, unlock twice and hold. got the ST logo and the global windows um, if you got any questions just let me know um, I was just trying to make this video to share with some people if they were like having issues trying to do this stuff uh, and that's it thank you